John Wooden said, don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. This is such a powerful and helpful piece of advice. So often we won't explore, try, offer because of something we can't do. We say things like, I can't get my church to endorse me. I can't get certified in this field. I can't afford to build my own retreat center. I can't get a publisher to take my book. I can't draw a large audience. I can't make a living doing this. I can't get into that circle. Now by this, I don't mean giving up your desires because they are difficult and that they'll take time to develop and, and then do something that's immediate and useful instead. We've all heard statements like, that's a nice idea, but that's probably not going to happen to you. So why don't you focus on your work, your family, and your church? By this, I do mean there is something very powerful, glorious, weighty that you have to offer to others that's not dependent on the economy, education, or endorsements. So often we define the effect that we desire to have by the way we've seen and experienced it. We've deeply been moved by a teacher, author, counselor, pastor, speaker, or a particular place, and we're compelled to bring that same effect to others. We mistakenly assume that we are to do the same thing in the same way. I mean, after all, large audience and book sales and beautiful properties can be quite enticing possibilities. But as Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, envy is ignorance and imitation is suicide. Trying to be someone else, no matter how admirable they are, will only lead to disillusionment for ourself and for others. And living a life of imitation will ultimately teach others to be someone other than they are. You see, the real issue is that we offer the good stored up in our heart where and when it's needed through whatever means are presently available. Instead of waiting to get hundreds, talk to the one person you've noticed is struggling. Instead of reserving your thoughts for a publishing deal, offer it to others now through weekly blogs. Instead of holding back your desire to encourage and strengthen couples until you can buy a lodge property, invite them to stay at your house for the weekend. Instead of insisting that your church endorse you as one of their leaders, ministers, offer your understanding of God to others as a fellow journeyer. So don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Offer what God has given and developed in you with humility, gentleness, and patience as he reveals a need for it. As we read in James 4.17, if anyone knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. So let me leave you with some other words for Emerson. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us.